Hi YouTube, it's your everyday Erin, and today I'm bringing you a Rapunzel costume tutorial. So I want to start by saying this is not a replica of her dress in the Disney movie. This is simply a creative interpretation based on the things that I found in the thrift store. So first I found this light pink satiny gown, and I also found this maroon shirt, and I thought these would work and I can make something cool out of this. The first thing I did was iron the dress because it was really, really wrinkly. Then I cut the sleeves off of the magenta shirt, and then I needed to take in the shirt. It was way too loose, so I turned it inside out, pinned it where it fit me, and then sewed the sides. And voila, it is now a much better fit. Next, I decided where I wanted my shirt to end, marked it with a pin, drew a line so I could make sure it was even on both sides, cut off the excess, and then I used hem iron tape to hem the bottom all around. Also, I was cat sitting at the time, so if you see the kitty pop in and out of frame, here he is, his name is Riku, and he's really cute. So here is the shirt, it is at its proper length, and I think it's looking pretty good. The next thing I did was I drew the sweetheart neckline and straps on the front of the shirt, and then I cut away the excess, and then I pinned some strips of lace along the edge of the neckline and ran that through the sewing machine too. The next thing I did was I cut the very top of the shirt so where the front of the strap would meet the back of the strap and then I kind of drew the shape of the back of the shirt neckline I suppose, cut the excess and then once again used hem tape to iron all of those edges so that they wouldn't be just raw edges. And then finally I pinned the front and back straps together and ran that through the sewing machine so that they would be attached once more. The next step was to remove a portion of the pink dress that was above my newly created neckline, so I simply just cut that away. But this did create a bit of a structural problem, but I had an easy fix, so I simply took some hem tape and made sure that the purple straps were now connected to the pink dress behind it. And the last thing I had to do was make the dress a little bit shorter because it was way too long and I was tripping on it. So I once again broke out the hem tape and just hemmed it a few inches up the entire way around. And here's the finished dress. I'm really excited with how it came out. And then now it's time for hairstyle. So I, of course, wanted to do the Rapunzel braid. I know I'm not a blonde, I'm a brunette, but maybe I could be Rapunzel's secret brunette sister or something. So the style I did was pretty simple. I just wanted a braid, of course, but I wanted to do something a little special with it. First, I just took a section from the left side of my hair and did a small braid on that side and then repeated the same exact thing on the right side. And then I took those two braids and incorporated them into one big braid in the back. And then what I did was I pulled on the edges of my braid just to make it look fuller and wider. And then finally, I got these plastic flowers from the craft store. I cut their heads off and just shoved the stems in various places. And here is the final look. I really enjoyed making this costume. It was a lot of fun, and I'm so glad that I get to share it with you. I want to wish everyone a happy Halloween, and please let me know in the comments below what you're being for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. 